You're on the air. This is the last phone call. This is New York. Hello? Yeah, hi. You're on the air. Howard? There's the radio one in the background. I shut it. You shut it? Yes, I did. Yeah, well, it fought back and turned itself on again. <laughs> I have a question for you. Normally, I would screen calls, but Gary has to read Newsday. <laughs> Baba Booey. Yes, you're on the air. Why are you always picking on overweight women? I don't pick on overweight women. Yes, you do. Gary, get out of here. You just I mentioned his name. He comes in. I wasn't asking for you. I figured. When I you made did... a joke. Oh, I, well, I figured when you said Gary had to read news that you uh, needed me. Go ahead. You were just picking on Roseanne Barr again just because of her weight. Let me tell you how I feel about fat people. You want to know how I feel? Yeah. As long as you call up. You, you, you made a good point. You think I'm making fun of you, right? Yeah. How much do you weigh? Too much. How much do you weigh? Be honest. I don't know who you are. How much do you weigh? 108 pounds. 108? 180. 180 pounds? Yeah. How tall are you? Too short. How short are you? 5'2". Oh. <laughs> how, how are you, a young girl? Um, 32. Boy, oh boy. What's the matter with you? Yeah, no, I, I definitely have a problem, but I mean... Like, what problem? You, you know what your problem is? You can't you can't close your mouth for three seconds. And don't tell me it's your metabolism. That's why I hate all you fat people. Oh, dear. You see, You're all lying. You see, there you go again. You're not even built like a woman. You're built like a bowling ball. You've got you to get a grip on yourself. When you look in the mirror, it, to me, if I was that fat, I'd look in the mirror, I'd say, my whole day is going to be devoted to losing weight. What could be more important? You're going to quit your job to lose weight? What, I swear I would quit my job. I mean, it's, it's, like, it's not like it's something, it's not like a handicap or a birth defect. You can change all that. It's a, it's, it's, it's a definite problem. It's oh, it's a problem. I love, let, me, let me tell you something, honey. I'm going to tell you something. I love to eat. You ask Robin. I used to be on the air with her. I'd order Chinese food in. Then we'd order Italian. And then I'd go home and eat a pound of spaghetti and meat sauce. And then I started getting heavier and heavier. You know what I did? I turned to Robin one day. I said, you know what? I'm getting too heavy. i got I got to slow down. Now, at some point, there's, there's some sickness in you that you can't even slow down. And you know what it's called? Being immature. you got to have everything, don't you? You could stop eating. And God knows what you eat. Why don't you tell me what you ate for breakfast this morning? I didn't, I didn't you didn't eat breakfast, breakfast right? That's no. what they all say, too. They're all liars. <laughs> That's another reason I hate fat people. I don't eat breakfast, they tell me. I don't. Or you eat dinner, but you eat it starting at 6 in the morning. <laughs> Come on, you eat breakfast. No, I don't. You weigh 180 pounds and you skip breakfast. I can't skip breakfast. You know I can't skip breakfast? See, that's what I mean. You're... I am so hungry in the morning, I can't skip breakfast. You're telling me at 180 pounds and 5 foot 2, you, you skip breakfast. Yes, I do. And then you skip lunch. Oh, no, she eats a very small lunch. She really does. No, I eat salad. I, I eat lunch and I eat dinner. What do you eat for lunch, sweetie? Um, sandwich. A sandwich? Yeah. You eat one sandwich for lunch? Yeah. Well, I can't wait to hear about dinner. <laughs> oh, dinner, she ate the mailman. <laughs> Big fatso. And she's going to cry to everybody. Oh, why are you making fun of fat people? Because you're laughable. You have no, you know what it's like? It's like having no self-control. It's like being weak and worthless. Well, you know, they're considering fat a handicap now, Howard, and you are making fun of a handicap. Good, then I am. Yeah. Fine. And I'm going to tell you something else. You know they say fat people, uh, it's harder for them to get jobs? Uh-huh. I wouldn't hire a, a big fat person like you. Why? Because it shows, it shows me something about your, your nature. It shows me you're weak. It shows me you're undisciplined. Now, wait a minute. Jackie's sitting right there. Watch it, bitch. <laughs> Jackie's not obese. Uh, I hired Jackie. In my defense, I hired Jackie when he was a lot thinner. How much does Jackie weigh? Jackie weighs less than you. I got news for you. <laughs> now, you say you eat a sandwich for lunch. Now, that sandwich must be as big as a steamer trunk. <laughs> what is in that sandwich? I don't know why I called. Why I'm getting, I'm letting my... You know why you called? I'll tell you why you called. Because you're weak and you need, you're looking to a, for a guru. And I'm now your guru. You know what a guru is? Yes, I know what a guru is. What's a guru? What is a guru? Tell me what a guru is. A guru is an animal you eat. <laughs> what is a guru? Tell me what a guru is. First of all, it's a guru. You, we know your stomach guru. <laughs> I don't know why I even... Do you have any pets? No, I don't. Good, because your pets would be scared. How many hours a day do you spend on the toilet? Tell me the truth. Be honest with me. 
You know you eat more than a sandwich for lunch. You know you do. You know you do. You weigh 180 pounds. And you can't tell me what you eat for lunch. I told you what I eat for, what I eat for lunch. Do you, do you drink tab with lunch? Oh, uh, you I know, a diet, a diet soda? I don't know if they make tab anymore. No, nah, that's house? true. What do they have, a diet soda? Yes. You drink a diet soda? I always drink diet soda. Always drink diet soda. You drink diet soda. You can't drink a glass of water, could you? Well, I drink water. Yeah, I drink water. I bet you eat breakfast. I bet you eat lunch. I bet you eat between breakfast and lunch. I bet you eat while you're on the toilet. Have you ever eaten a sandwich while you're on the toilet? No, Howard. I never have eaten a sandwich on the toilet. <laughs> you eat nothing for All right, so tell me about dinner now. What did you have for dinner last night? You had your sandwich for lunch. I you had no breakfast. And now dinner time comes. Yes, all right. Yes, I had no breakfast. I had a slice of pizza and a diet soda for lunch. Okay, go ahead. And... For dinner, I had roasted chicken. Roasted chicken? Yeah. No, no skin? No. How many chickens? <laughs> How many? I had a leg, a thigh, and a wing. And this was a regular-sized chicken? Yeah. So you had half a chicken? No. I had a leg and a thigh and a wing. Oh, okay. All right. She missed the breast. Yeah. <laughs> the the breast, of course, is a white meat, which would have maybe been a few less calories. Right. But go ahead. Yes, yeah, so you ate that. And yeah. I had a sweet potato. Sweet potato, no butter? No butter. Go ahead. Is she on a diet? What? No, no, no. no, no, no this is the healthiest right. per This is the healthiest eating I have, I've ever heard on a woman. Right. A Christy of, Brinkley eats eats more than this. Go ahead, yeah. A corn on the cob. A corn on the cob, no with, butter. With Mr. No, Mrs. Mrs. T. Butter. Oh, butter buds. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know what you're eating. Yeah, yeah. But, butter corn with the butter buds. <laughs> then you had the uh, the sweet potato and uh, the, the the little piece of chicken. Yeah, and that's it. And um, nice salad, maybe. No salad. No salad. You were and full. And frozen it. yogurt about ten o'clock last night. Okay. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something. You got it. You are in severe denial. You know what denial is? And I don't mean a river in Africa. <laughs> you know what denial is? Yeah, I know what denial is. You ate more than that. You're lying to me. Admit no, it. I'm not. Well, ask her if she's losing weight. No, she's not losing weight. Oh. Okay. She weighs 182 pounds. But she she could have weighed 200 yesterday. <laughs> Did you lose 20 pounds yesterday? <laughs> actually, actually, okay. Weight bothers me also. Okay, I've I've never been as heavy as I am right now. What is it? Your metabolism, darling? No, a lot of stress. And... So it must be something that you're eating, right? But so yesterday was uh, was an incredible day for you. That was a very unusual day, wasn't it? I'm, I'm, I'm trying. Say, I swear to God, that's what I ate yesterday. I swear to God, that's what I ate. Well, I'm telling you, you got her in the middle of a diet. How long will that? How long? What? Give me a normal day when you're not on your diet. What are you eating? Come on. What do you eat like that one time? <laughs> <laughs> I have been trying. All right, listen to me. Listen to me. It's not so tough not to eat. Believe me, it's not so tough. There's a lot tougher things in, in life. I believe me, I have a problem. And you know what it is? It shows it, it, it's an embarrassment to walk around looking like that. It shows gluttony. It shows it shows uh, a weakness. It shows somebody who is obsessed with food, which is really something you can't be obsessed with in life. You got you got to have more to your life than just food. You got to have interests. You got to you got want to go on dates. You get are you married? No. Of course not. Who's gonna Who's gonna do you? You, you know you're gonna get a chubby chaser. That's the only thing you could get is a chubby chaser. Actually, that's probably one of the reasons why I gained all the weight, because I was involved in a relationship, and when it ended, I was devastated by it, so I just kept eating and eating. Well, who's going to look at you except some weirdo who's a chubby chaser? And that guy, that guy's sick. I'm very attractive. No, you're That's not. Friends. At 182 pounds, nobody's attractive. Nobody. Nobody. Guy throws up, he sees you naked. Oh, I'm telling you, I'm being honest with you. These other diet programs are not honest with you. I'm <laughs> telling you. Dollars Stern diet program. I'm being honest with you. Your whole day should be devoted to losing weight. <laughs> Imagine you take off. When's the last time you had a man? I'm not going to answer. No, come on, you can answer. No. Nobody knows who you are. I want you to be honest with me. When's the last time you had a man? Be honest. Uh, the last relationship I got out of was about two months ago. Yeah. How much did you weigh during that relationship? The same as I weigh right now. Really? Yeah. And you would take off your clothes in front of this guy? And what would he say when he saw what you what was doing there? But we had a great relationship, Harold. Does your belly hang over your panties? No, it doesn't. Your belly does hang over your panties. Don't tell me it doesn't. You come down here and show me a woman who weighs 182 pounds and her belly don't <laughs> flop over her panties. Your belly hangs over your panties. Robin, how about you? How do you maintain your weight? 
she works with me, I'll yell yeah, at her. Really? I'll make fun of her. I have to put up with this. <laughs> I guess so. No, what? Robin has some I guess that's what I need. That's all. She's a human being who understands it's just self-control. Yeah, listen, you, 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 you're showing a side of yourself to the world that is, is really just uh, huge, right? <laughs> oh, you babe. <laughs> you guys are terrible. You gotta, you gotta take an assessment of your life. You gotta say, listen, I want to live life as a normal person. I want to walk around as a freak show. I am a normal person. No, you're not. What? Have you joined one of those groups? Oh, you're accepting your fat? Like it's like, oh, it's a healthy thing for you, and you're supposed to be this size? There's no animal in the animal kingdom that looks like like you. Oh, well, there are. Where? Name one. Hippopotamus? Hippopotamus okay. is not a fat animal. It's not? Hippopotamus is a very in-shape animal. <laughs> is it really? Hippopotamus could well, outrun all of us. it naturally looks that way. No, naturally looks that way, but to a hippopotamus, that's thin. Oh, well, I'm just saying they look the same, though. You, what you're saying is, I'm saying... All hippopotami look that weight. Yes. Okay. You've never seen an obese hippopotamus. No. Now, this woman, <laughs> she should be living with a trunk on the end of her nose because she is the size of an elephant. That's what you're saying. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm sorry. I was trying to help. Who do you want to call you? That, that nag, Richard Simmons? Will he help you? You want him to call you? Sure. You want him to call you. And what is he going to do for you? Um... Yeah, you I motivate know you? I can get That's him to call I you. I need motivation. I, don't you think I've motivated you? Um, you've, you've definitely embarrassed me, yeah. Yeah, you're a, you're a woman. You shouldn't look like Ralph Cramden. You should look like a woman. You look like Ralph Cramden at 180 pounds from the Honeymooners. Well, I... Are you smoking? No, I don't smoke. What, are you crying? No, no, my allergies bother me. You know why you have allergies? You're a big fat, so. <laughs> I have allergies because the pollen counts. No, 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 no. Let me tell you something. When I was heavy, you never had as heavy allergies. As I had allergies. <laughs> heavy allergies. Oh, I was. But well, I at least catch it. When my weight goes up 235, I go. I, the alarm goes off in my head. <laughs> and you know why you have allergies? Why? You're allergic to not eating. You haven't eaten enough today. Thanks. And don't starve yourself either. You don't have to starve yourself. Mm. See, now, now you're going the whole opposite way. You can do it, ma'am. Want me to put you in touch with Richard Simmons? You could do that? Yeah, I'll do it. I don't see what good it'll do. Well, I don't know. let's see. Well, we can, I can give you, um, you know, bi-weekly updates. <laughs> no, I just thought, you just, you, you... Browbeat us. I mean, every day. Yes, I do. Know. And you know what? And you know what? What does that tell you? Maybe you should do something. You're not like a blind man. A blind man can't get his sight back. You can do something about your condition. I know I can. Of course you can. And what is this with these Americans? They can't. They can't slim down. You've got so many fat Americans walking around. Look, I got a bit of a gut. You'll see it on the MTV Awards with the tuchus and the cottage cheese in my ass. But at least I, I got a normal size to me. And you're a woman. How are you going to get laid? How are you going to have a sex life? How are you going to have kids with that big bayach? That's an Italian word. You know what bayach is? No, I don't. That's Italian for big belly. <laughs> All right, listen, i got to go. Okay. I'll put you on hold. Gary will give you a number to Richard Simmons. He'll sit there and cry with you. Thanks a lot. All right, hold on. Goodbye. Good luck. Imagine the duty she must oh, have every day. Oh, Imagine just the waste. You have think of everything that Imagine. happens. Hey, let, me, let me ask you something. Hey, excuse me. Let me ask you something. We're still on the air. How many times a day you go to the bathroom? How many times? That's disgusting. I'm not going to answer No, come on. How many times a day you make, you know, one, a, bo a bowel movement? One. one. You make one bowel movement a day? Yes, Howard. All right. You know you're not being honest with me. Yes, I am, Howard. There's no way you make one bowel movement a day. When I was at my heaviest, 235, I made three bowel movements a day. You make more than one bowel movement a day. No, I don't. Say, I swear to God, I make one bowel movement a day. Say it. I swear to God, I make one bowel movement a day. I can't believe I'm saying this. This is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> this is really... All right, okay. It must be a six-hour bowel movement. How long, is it, how long are you sitting on the bowl when you're, on, when you're there? More than five minutes? Do you read a whole book? No, I don't. Do you read a whole magazine? Can you read a magazine? I'm, I'm not going to answer any of these questions. Are you mounted on the bowl right now? No, I'm at work right now. Oh, I see. All right, I'm going to put you in touch with Richard Simmons. Okay. All right, hold on. Thanks. 
<laughs> hey, I bet you I helped her. Oh. You could laugh all you want over there, Jackie, but I tell you, I bet you I helped her. Well, <laughs> I like Robin gets very quiet. Over this. <laughs> I can't believe she called. I'm just saying, why would you? You want to know why? Because she Hang needed up. help, and I got her help. Oh God.